Aaron James was working as a high voltage lineman in 2021 when his face accidentally touched a live wire. He lost an arm and parts of his face. James's new reality left him nearly unrecognizable. With no memory of what happened, he was sent to a hospital in Texas not long after. Basically, I got up, went to work, and woke up six weeks later in Dallas, Texas. Doctors at New York University soon got wind of his case and saw a possibility. Less than two years after the accident, they performed a successful partial face and whole eye transplant, the first time that's ever been done in history. And this is what James looks like now. The new eye still not open, but receiving blood flow, his doctors say. When you walk by the mirror, do you ever stop yourself and go, Oh yeah. Wow. I... Every time I see a mirror, I'll stop. It's unbelievable. In the very beginning, it was a poor outlook. They were basically preparing me for his death. Did you ever lose hope? No. Why is that? Because he was fighting. Their daughter, Allie, wasn't sure what he would look like. But that's not what she cared about. Most of my worries was just how he was going to be when he was awake and aware. Did you ever think you were going to lose him? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm still a little in shock. So I'm just like, how in the world? <laughs> how this happened to us, you know? The 21-hour procedure was intricate at every level. Why is adding an eye to a face transplant much more complicated than the already complicated face transplant? It's completely uncharted territory. Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez helped lead the historic surgery. In one of two operating rooms, he dissected the face that James would soon receive, including an eye. We disconnect it from the donor and the race begins. At this point, the face and the eye are not receiving any blood supply. The amount of time that it's not receiving blood is critical. The eye could die. So I take the face from the donor room to Aaron's room and I begin all those connections. Having to use a microscope to connect nerves no more than a millimeter wide to connect the eye. Is there a possibility that he will see in the future? At this point, he does not see, but the fact that the eye is there, we've already made one huge step forward. Wow. This was James seeing himself for the first time post-surgery. You don't look at this as a finish line. This is more of a starting point. Absolutely. Through it all, James sees a purpose greater than his own. That's really my biggest hope out of this deal. I mean, if I can see out of it, that's great. But I think it'll kickstart the next path in the medical field, and I'm all for it.